in this video tutorial, I want to show you how to install and configure the language options within your new Premium Press theme. So let's get started. Firstly, in front of me, we have a default installation of the new auction theme. To install the plugins required to modify the language, we simply click on configuration, languages. Here, you'll notice a blue button that says Install Language Editor. The language editor that we use within our Premium Press themes is Loco Translate. To install this plugin, simply click on Install at the bottom right hand side. Once you've successfully downloaded and installed this plugin, Please click on Activate Plugin to enable it to be used on your website. Now on the left hand side menu, you'll notice a new option called Loco Translate. From here, click on Themes. You'll notice the installed Premium Press theme visible at the top. Click on the Auction theme. Now we simply click on New Language. We can select the location we want to install our new language file. We recommend that you use a default option and not within the themes folder. This is simply because if you install the language within the themes folder, when you update your theme, you will lose all of the language options you've saved. So use the option within the loco themes option. Select the language that you wish to translate your website. Even if your language is already English and you simply want to modify the English text, simply collect the English language and click on Start Translating. Now, from within this section, you can modify all of the text within the entire Premium Press theme. To search for specific text, simply enter the value here. So if we take, for example, the top section where it says My Account, we will simply type in my account. Now we can find and select the values we want to use. You'll see two options, source text and the English language text. The source text is the original language value. To translate this variable, we simply enter a new value into the language section here. So in this case, I will enter testing123. Once you've entered a value, click on save and sync. Now, when I go to our website and give it a refresh, you'll see the new value has changed within the top section of our website. You can do this process for the entire Premium Press theme. If there's any wording within the website that you want to change, simply search, edit and save. If you wish to use multiple website languages, simply go on Premium Press, Configuration, click on Languages, and use the Language Switcher option to enable the drop down menu for multiple languages. Select multiple languages from the menu here and click on Save. Now when we return to our website, and click on refresh, you'll see a drop down menu for different language options. Do note that the drop down menu for the different language options may be displayed differently within different themes. And since we have multiple child themes, some of the design options may be different depending on the child theme you're using. To configure each of the languages, we simply go back to the local translate Click on Themes, Auction Theme, and we now add a new language for the options that we've just set. So since we have Chinese and Spanish, we will go and add one for Chinese. And I'll go back to Themes again, add new language, Spanish.
So to demonstrate, if I add the same wording again, my account. This time I'll go testing Spanish. Save. Sync. I'm going to go back to my themes. Auction theme and for Chinese, I'm going to do the same thing. Test it in Chinese, save, sync. And now when I go back to my website, give it a refresh. As you can see, the default is testing one, two, three, which is our English language. I click on the Spanish flag. We can see it's changed to testing Spanish. If I change it to Chinese, we can now see it says testing in Chinese. If you install a child theme and there is text that's not visible, when you click on themes and the theme name you're using, you can simply click on edit template and manually add the value that's missing. So for example, if we had text on our website, such as add auction, that wasn't visible when we searched through the um, current installed language, we can simply create a new value for it. By clicking on add, we will type in add auction, one, two, three for testing, click on save, sync, go back to my themes, click on edit, add auction, and we can then customize and edit the text value for it here.